hello everyone in this video I will talk about annotation so in the previous video you have seen uh, that how I can prepare uh, the CDS view and how I can prepare the ODS data service and after that I called into the my uh, fewer app and everything I prepared from scratch so uh, you can check this video um, but today I will actually talk about the annotation and uh, this annotation after that like uh, this is the view it's coming from this CDS view but this data format is not there and the header is not there so we have to add those information through the uh, CDS view so in the CDS view you can see that is the basically two part on this part there are some annotation so this annotation actually is a kind of header information and this information maintain um, the metadata for the entire CDS view so I mean that for example OData published true that means that this is true for the entire CDS view so that is the reason that is called the view annotation like annotation so how it can affect for example currently you can see there is no header information so if I want to add any header information here so I have to work on that um, view annotation part so like um, ui dot header info and here we will give a name so here like type name flight connection another is so here type name plural that is connections so basically if if it is single data then your header name will be the flight connection but if it is the multiple data more than one it will show single uh, flight connections so now i need to active and i refresh you can see that already header uh, flight connection is there i just go i select and you can see the total number is count here so that is the reason that is a flight connections so actually that is the view informations I mean that you have changed here and actually that is the effect for all so that's the reason that is called the view annotations and second part is the uh, elements annotation so elements will work uh, based on that item level that is called how it works it works based on that each and every field where you apply it will change only this field so for example like that is the carrier id so like here this carrier id actually that is the airline code for example code right and um, here you can change the position you can change the name so now um, i want to apply annotation here only for this 
uh, field so ui dot line item then the position ten um, then level yellow good so if I ex apply here so now you can see actually that is the by default it it is showing here because it's applying only on um, annotation only on field it's the same way if I put that here so if I put like price and this is the position 1 and that is the position like 20 active if you just refresh you can see that two um, uh, two column is showing and you can see that is already selected that means that you want to uh, show data here and now like um, if you this price you want to the first position and L line you want to the second position so what you can do you can just make it 20 it's here but you can just make 30 active so just refresh so you can see the price is now the first position and the airline is the second position so that is the way i want to apply for the wall like that is 10 so here copy here it is for it's always better to make a gap so actually that also um, okay just for the formatting so here actually that is a position one that is uh, 20 that is 30 and that is uh, 40 so basically there are some gap so that in future also you can add uh, more value so that is the connection what is called that uh, flight connection number so basically that is the connection number and that is the flight date flight date and basically that is the year fear so here just refresh and you can see that everything is coming based on that uh, CDS view so it doesn't matter how it is uh, I mean that uh, for this purpose you don't need to change any code in the application level if you can just go change in the database or CDS view it will it will just affect everywhere so that's the beauty so um, yeah um, actually in this video um, I wanted to show only this view annotation and the element annotations basically uh, there are so many like I I just only use that um, like header info but you will find that um, there are so many annotations you can check but in this video actually you know that how you can control the header and how you can control the item in the next video I will show you how to connect how to join to uh, devil and um, yeah I will continue with this okay thank you bye